me be? I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, Nightfall. Uh, yeah, Nightfall. Not good. The Nocturnal Monsters will be on the prowl. This will make things much, much more difficult for us. Come on. We can't shrink away from at a time like this. I can't win with you guys. If I act too excited, you guys tell me that I need to stop acting so excited. Things are dangerous. If I act uh, sad or worried or whatever, you tell me, you need to suck it up. We need to do it anyway. Why is there never any general option where it's just, you know, you're praised for having some kind of anything? They better keep their distance. They wouldn't want to mess with me or you, Isaac. I'm not sure what to do about Matthew and Karis at this point. Well, we can't just leave them behind, Isaac. Of course not. But they can't go on the head of us either. Monsters will sense their, um, that they're easier prey. Easier prey? Oh no, Matthew. She'll be worried. A little over... that I shouldn't be scared. <laughs> Dang it. A little overconfident, aren't you? But I guess it doesn't hurt since your dad down here. Well then. Tough time calls for tough measures. We'll lend you some gin. Ginny. A ginny is a creature of pure elemental energy. Adepts use gin to enhance their own powers and summon spirits. Gin um, fall into four elemental categories. Mars... Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. Only until we find Tarot, however. We're very attached to our gen, of course. You were planning this all along, weren't you? L you'll let us borrow some gen um, for a little while? Using gen to battle will make us much more powerful. Do you remember how to use gen? Yes. Good, but we can never be too careful. Gen? Oh my god. It's one of those games, chat. It's one of those games where you tell, they ask you a question, you tell them yes, and they said, well, we're gonna tell you anyway. Oh. <laughs> you want a tutorial? No? Well, here's one anyway. <laughs> okay, Isaac, you want me to explain how gen work? You got it. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Karis. I'm one of Isaac's Venus Jin. My name is Flint. I've known Isaac since the day he first left his hometown, Vale. We don't have time for reminiscing, Flint. Please, just primer. Please, just a primer on Jin. Always in such a hurry. Okay, then, short and sweet. I forgot. They turned it into a, con a culling book instruction video. <laughs> this is definitely a coloring book instruction video. We gen are nature spirits. There are four types of us. We already know. We just told us this like three times already. They're very cute in this game. I will give it that. We span the four elements. Venus gin from the earth, ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. When you set gin on someone, their class may change. In this example, setting the, these two gin on, on make Matthew a brute. And that gin holder status, um, stats such as HP and PP may change as well. Change cla changing classes can give you new synergy. While cutting other synergy, um, experiment with classes to access new powers. Each journey also has unique power. Throw a genie into battle and it will help you fight. Now watch how to do this. At least they don't make me do it, right? They just do it for me? Now, I will say, that animation was pretty dope. 
After Jenny fights, it goes into standby. The class and synergists it helped grant are lost until it returns to set. Distribute your Jenny around the party and experiment with various combinations to see how they benefit each other. You can pile us all on one person. We like to be shared around. Uh, you can't pile us all on one person. We like to be shared around the whole party so everyone benefits. What's up, infuriated? What is the screen? Um, something that I made specifically for this game. Sorry, something's in my eye. Give me a second. You like the screen? Thank you. It was hard work. <laughs> Can't play. Uh, you can't pile us on one person. We like to share. Okay, we read that. I... Also, welcome in, Inferior. How are you feeling today? I was so sad last night to realize that the season had ended, but I did get my first dub on a uh, on a, a competitive uh, match in Casuals. Um. Yeah, this team was using. I don't remember the full team. The Pokemon he used in our battle, though, was a uh, Hydreigon, Goldingo, um, a uh, Mousehold, and what's that other one? I can't remember the other one. Eh, didn't matter. I killed them all. <laughs> what was the first Pokemon he used? Oh, Quaquavel. He used Quaquavel, um, first, um, but I hit him with the Screech, uh, Extreme Speed and not killed Quaquavel with, uh, with my first attack. Um, so his mouse hold couldn't really do anything, um, because he, he used Helping Hand, and I was like, that's fine, because Extreme Speed has higher priority than anything you have on your side of the field, so, <laughs> just smurfed it. Then he brought out Goldingo. Um, and his mouse hold used Encore on my Dragonite, but unfortunately for him, I had already used a Dragon Dance prior, so I was faster than his Goldingo, um, and the Encore. So I ended up getting stuck in Stomping Tantrum, which was, of course, bad for his Goldingo. <laughs> I was like, oh, unfortunate for you. Um, then he sent out Hydreigon, uh, uh, Terrasalize it into fire uh, form, uh, use it to kill my Dragonite um, and my Umbreon, um, eventually. He finally took out my Umbreon, um, but it was already too late. Um, I was able to take out his Goldingo with my uh, Miascarada. Um, I had already taken out Mousehold with uh, Dragonite. So his Dragonite, my Dragonite took out Quaquavel, Mousehold. My Meowskarada took out his Goldingo, so all he had was uh, Hydreigon using terror uh, Fire Terror type Heat Wave, uh, which took me down to my uh, Garganacle. Um, but because he was a Fire type, my Salt Cure was just smurfing him. So I was like, "Well, that's unfortunate for you, because I salt, salt Cure you. You can't switch him out, and I just heal with recover. So <laughs> you can't do it." Caught a shiny Dratini earlier. Nice. I have three shiny Dratini. Count them. Three. Uh, I got three in a, a, a mass outbreak. Um, so I have a shiny Dratini, a shiny Dragonair, and a shiny Dragon Knight. I'm trying to do a living deck, so... Unfortunately... That was the only time that I had any type of good luck inside of a uh, a mass outbreak. The next mass outbreak I did was the slowpoke. I was only able to find one shiny slowpoke, and God, that was a flipping pain in the butt to do. Um, and then for the next couple of ones that I did was was another slowpoke one that failed, and then I did a uh, walk trail last night. And that didn't work either. I just couldn't find any of the shinies. 
So, eh. I don't know. I need, I need to farm more raids so I can get more Urban Mystica. Still in the tutorial? Yeah, I, I, I was talking about Pokemon. That's my fault. Anyone in your party can draw upon the pool of all Jenny or Jen currently on standby. Now watch the Summon the Spirit. Summon King Ramses! King Ramses! The man of gods! The man of gods! I can do that too, look! All you guys can see is my hand though. This is dope. This is much better than the old Ramses. Gen reset, um, gen rest after being used for a summon. When ready, they return to set status, restoring class and stat changes to the holders. Did you understand everything I just said to you? I said, dear guy, I gotta make sure I hit the right button, otherwise you're gonna tell me again! <laughs> that wraps it up then. That was not short. Thanks for showing us how it's done. Good work, Flint. Okay, let's divvy up the gen. Remember what Flint said about uh, dividing them up evenly? Yep. Good, because learning how to set your gen is crucial. Let's hurry it up. Tyrell's waiting for us. Gather around. But you guys made me do this. Ready, Matthew? Ready, Karis? Take care of dipping up the gin. Back when I started out, I had only one Jin. Um, a Jenny. Think you two are ready to borrow six? I'm glad you're taking this seriously. Using Jin properly is important. Isaac, wait. Isn't it time we talked about who's leading this little expedition? I know you said Matthew should lead, but I'm having doubts. How dare you? How dare you have doubts about my leadership skills after you, yourself, Force me to watch your brat of a son. I'm watching you, uh, Garrett. I'm watching you. I don't think he's ready. There, I said it. So Matthew shouldn't be the leader then. Back in the old day, Isaac and Felix were our leaders. Felix, another one of Vale's Earth Adepts who led a second party that joined up with Isaac's group in the days before the Golden Sun. Felix's sister Jenna and the Scarlet Kraton were others from Vale in his party. He left his homeland and has not been um, been seen since. Also, oh, he just disappeared off the face of the earth. Okay. Your dad wasn't exactly the talkative type when he was younger. But we've always man uh, managed to set aside our differences. We're a great team. What's on your mind, Isaac? Looks like you've had um you've had a brainwave. Isaac! Hmm. I said, what's on your mind? I can usually read him like a book. Even if it is a thick book half the time. Yes, thick book, funny. Now if you're done talking, I've had a thought. About the leader, who's it gonna be? Stop beating around the bush, say it already. Matthew will be a leader, of course. Just brilliant. We're back where we started. You want Matthew to lead. Garrett, stop. My son isn't ready to order around veterans like us, are you, Matthew? I don't think that getting too cocky is going to convince them. I, I'm not being cocky. I'm serious. I can I can order you around. Just listen, Garrett. Uh, just listen. Garrett and I will join you in battle now. But you, Matt, but you Matthew, well, God only cares. So you mean that we'll be supporting Matthew and Karis, right? You and I will watch over them as they battle, yes. Should be easy enough for a veteran like you to handle. Oh, okay then. You two will still be on your own, but we'll just jump in when, and help if needed. Exactly. Now let's get moving. You heard him, boss. They're finally done talking! Um, okay, so... So she becomes a wanderer. 
And he'll become a brute. I want to check the changes. Oh, okay, that's what it tells you right there. So she'll gain whirlwind but lose cure. I mean, she'll gain slash but lose cure. And he has no effect on him. I guess that's fine. He'll gain cure but lose fireball. Nah, we'll keep it like this. It'll still be a rough re-in. Eh. Yeah, this is fine. I like Slash. Um. What's this? Da, da, Jesus, look at the size of that sword that he has. Okay, let's try using agility. Uh, Torch roasts your foes, no matter how, um, no matter his defenses. Yo, dude is, look at, he's stacked. I don't even need to use a Jenny though. Can't I just whirlwind? Wouldn't that just kill them all anyway? I like that the summoning menu is automatically up no matter what, so that you can check and see what summons you have instead of you having to use a Jenny first to be able to see it. Yo, her HP drops by 30. Oh, that doesn't hit everybody, man. Wasting my time with that. Listening to him. You're gonna make me do something stupid. Like waste time. <laughs> okay, go this way. I want to make a competitive greeting. Uh because he's your favorite mon. The fa my favorite mon to hate. Possibly. I've been thinking about, uh, whatchamacallit again lately. What fireball only targets one person too? What is this game? <laughs> what, what happened to it targeting everybody? Wow, Slash only targets one person as well. But yeah, I've been thinking about getting back into uh, uh, Pokemon Unite. Yo, these kids be critical like a madman. Or mad kids, I should say. I don't recall us ever getting criticals like that in uh, the original games. Not that often, at least. Little League of Legends? Basically. I might dabble in some more League of Legends as well, though. I don't know. Every time I log into the League client, I feel compelled to play TFT over League. I'm almost... Um, I'm almost in gold again. I'm almost in gold now, I should say. Um, I am low... I'm mid silver one. I've been able to get some decent wins out while keeping the losses to a minimum. Maggie, what's up? It's hanging, it's hanging. How about you? How's everything hanging? Hope you had good holidays. I hope your week is went, went well as well. We're all over here playing some Golden Sun Dark Dawn, trying to finish up these, uh, the last of this. Uh, Trilogy.
I can't tell you the feeling that something's a little off here. Mm, never mind. The forest is just making me jumpy, I guess. Oh, wait. Fireball turned into a, uh, an overworld, uh, overworld skill now. Chilling, trying to set up a watch right now. A watch night to watch ghost stories dub. Oh, okay. I need to start doing watch nights myself. I just need to figure out how people set it up. I know they use Discord for it. I just need to figure out how. This force at the foot of the Goma Plateau is just living up to its diabolical reputation. So the Tanglewood is, has us in its grip already, does it? Is that where the Tangle part um, of the name comes from? Exactly. And the force that tries to ensnare you is a place to be feared. But we're warriors of Vale. We can deal with it. This group of adepts saved the world by instilling the force of alchemy and causing the Golden Sun 30 years ago. But because that event also brought mass destruction, the Warriors of Vale are widely seen as a controversial group. We can't even escape controversies in our video games. You can share your screen easy, because that's what I'm going to do. Um, go on your usual link and share your screen for that. Yeah, I'm going to have to start setting up uh, video nights. Uh, with the with the Broshi family, um, we'll just call, we'll call it movie night or video night on the Broshi Island. I have to see what kind of videos people want to be into though. Hmm, the sinister gas is here. The lack of bright starlight. The Tanglewood is now at its worst. The Tanglewood earns its reputation from the way evil energy tangles up reality with corruption. People say that those who, with pure hearts can see right through all of this, um, of this corruption. This changes everything. The boy's in over his head. You should take over, Isaac. Are you listening to me? This isn't some game, Isaac. My son is depending on us. What is it with you? Now's not the time to stop and smell the roses? What roses? <laughs> what roses? Don't worry. We can continue to the forest. Only some trees have been, um, been corrupted. Are you sure, Isaac? And there's a way to blaze a trail through the corrupted trees. Isaac, I don't think... Oh, I don't like what you're thinking. Yes, we need to use fireball synergy. Uh, it's a fire-based synergy that concentrates ambient heat energy into a ball of flame that the user can use to incinerate a target. That's reckless. The woods would catch on fire. Besides, it's impossible for kids. Just listen to you. All ready to tough it out. You're outgrowing me. That's pretty fast. Eh, it's not hard to outgrow you, Garrett. Kind of simple. I agree, Garrett. It's impossible to use a fireball to burn these dark trees. See? Told you. We must find a way to burn away the corruption, which seems concentrated in the strange roots. I suppose you want me to give that a try. Throw a fireball, Garrett. Um, Garrett. Would it hurt you to say please once in a while? Just do it, Garrett. Yo, would it... Isaac become a pain in the butt. Where do you want me to shoot one, your highness? Someone legit asked if I was doing dub or not, like... Duh. <laughs> I heard the dub for ghost stories was absolutely horrendous, but so bad that it was hilarious to watch. You're unbelievable. I told you on the roots, Garrett. On the roots. Hmm, where should I aim it? All that just to aim it right back where he had it. There's a good spot. Well, that didn't work. It's too soon to give up. Try another spot, Garrett. You shoot at a Karis if you want. I'll have your head. Yeah, the official dub is like an abridged dub. It's fantastic. <laughs> you don't know if you've seen Ghost Stories? Oh, sounds like we might have to watch Ghost Stories on the um, on the channel. Have I seen Ghost Hound? I can't say I've seen Ghost Hound. I've definitely seen Ghost Stories. 
See, the path, or at least a little bit of ghost stories. See, the path ahead is far less tangled now. I guess you're right. I always am. He's been right about most things for the last 30 years. It's infuriating. So what did we learn here? The crypt trees have become possessed by evil energy. Of course, you couldn't just come out and say that up front, could you? That'd be too easy. I thought it'd be better than a fireball, um, with a fireball too. It knows your interest, didn't it, Garrett? The trees are corrupted by negative energy. Oh my god, he just wasted our time. <laughs> Which means that the negative energy is vulnerable to light and fire. The monsters drawn to this dark, cold place must be vulnerable to light and fire too. Got that? I did. Great, because you never know when those sorts of insights will prove a matter of life and death. So that's how um, to blaze a trail through these corrupt trees, eh? Well, some of us have fire at hand. But only the weak spots on the corrupted trees will burn. So let's remember that. You'll need fire, and I'm sure that one of you will be able to learn fireball synergy. But whatever, whichever of you, um, of you is, whatever, whichever of you it is, you'll need to keep one Martian set. Now let's go. La ah, words, me and my words. It's not family friendly or stream friendly though. Nope. That's why I would watch it. We can't watch it on stream anyway, so. Pretty desensitized to psych, um, psych horror, but I think that one had uh, a scene that got you. Um, so I guess I need to let me go to synergy and do shortcut on that. I went the wrong way. That's my fault. Kill the slime! He did. You got like two experience a uh, kill. Well that was uh That was a pretty aggressive use of fire right there. I thought we were gonna burn down the forest for a second. Um, I need to go this way, right? Um, up here, over there. Da 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 Oh, he used Flash. That's what's up. Let's go, Pops. Being useful. Heh, <laughs> one damage. I like how his... I like how Isaac is trying to tell me what to do at the top of the screen, and I'm just ignoring him because... Why listen to him? But yeah, what what kind of anime would you guys be interested in watching if we did do, you know, anime slash movie nights? You know, a movie I would like to watch with you all in chat is uh, Mulan. I would like to watch Mulan with you all. Don't ask me why. I just do. I just do. And the Goofy movie. Who wouldn't like to watch some Paraline, right? I haven't seen the Goofy movie in a very long time. Yeah, it's been a while for me as well. Yo, I like that Mouse Warrior, dude. The Red Soldiers look cool now. Before I used to think they looked kind of dopey. I probably empathize more with Goofy now than Max. I always empathize with Goofy. But that's probably because I was more of a bad kid when I was young. So I kind of already know. 
I kind of knew how it felt to be that kind of kid and treating your parents like that. Even more so now that I'm older, I never wish that on anybody else. You remember it being a very thoughtful movie? I really enjoy it. Oh hey, it's an elixir. Do you remember that item that no one ever uses in this game ever? Literally? I need to keep my eye on that mini map up above to make sure I'm not missing any treasure chests. At last, the cave. It only took us five years. And there's the Sorwin. Oh, destroyed. Wow. That's it, all right. So I'm betting Tyrell landed up there. Then climb inside. Crash the Sorwin. It's broken. Uh, he crashed the sword wing. It's broken. The wing. It's totally destroyed. It won't be able to fly anytime soon. What have you done, Tyrell? It could have been much worse, my friend. You think so? Absolutely. We still have um, our children alive and well. Tyrell is nearby, Garrett. I'm sure of it. Thank, uh, thank the fates. At least he made it. But we still need to find him quickly. Lead us into the cave, Matthew. It's nice that it's nice that synergy has an effect ra effective radius now. Yep, instead of you needing to be right up on it. Though, as you saw with the growth spells, I still have, to have the tendency to just kind of walk up on it. Growth a lot more than I expected you would have to. Oh, we got caught by a uh, surprise. Whirlwind. Matthew should just carry some potted ivy around. <laughs> so we can use growth whenever we want. Strangely, the synergy stone disappears without restoring any of your synergy points. Well, at least it didn't drain them, right? Could have been a trap. Tyrell, can you hear me? Shout if you can hear us. Um, if you can hear us, son. He said he wasn't in danger. Are you sure? Don't panic, Garrett. I feel his life force. Tyrell's somewhere nearby. It's too dark. We can't see anything. Something isn't quite right here. Hmm. At one time, this was a synergy stone mine. Yet we've seen so few of the crystals. Chalk it up to yet one more odd phenomenon we need to investigate. That is, if we ever find Tyrell. Throw a fireball or two out there, Garrett. Lay up this place. Okay, easy enough. Hit <laughs> instant ladder. I like how these specifically turn into torches. A synergy vortex. Yeah, and it's just about the biggest synergy vortex we've seen in a while. What's it doing here? I have no idea, but be careful. Few things are as dangerous as um, to adapt to synergy vortex. I've never seen one up close. The vortex is sucking in all synergy that comes in reach, right? Yes. Let's hurry onward. We need to find Tyrell. Look over there. It's Tyrell. Tyrell has passed out. Well, probably because he got his life force sucked out of him. 
He's lost consciousness because the vortex pulled this energy out of him. That boy's fearless still fought. What do you do? Touch it? <laughs> Probably. Why would your dad send Tyrell to a place with vortexes? They've never appeared inside this cave before. Not in all these years. You can bet. Had we known all this, I never would have let my son come here. Alright, quickly. We must go to um, armed with knowledge. The vortexes are pure anti-synergy. Uh, created by exceptionally dense con uh, concentrations of synergy. That must be related to all the synergy stones that have um, gone missing in this mine. Another theory is that the vortexes which appear in many places merely foreshadow something worse. And that's the coming of the morning moon, a single vortex of immense magnitude. Either way, the elemental lighthouses that trigger the golden sun are at the heart of the problem. There are four of these towers that set, um, set their beams of elemental energy over Mount Alf to the Golden Sun event. This released the Force of Alchemy, which had been sealed away by the ancients back in the world of Wayard. Wait, so is it not Wayard still? So our old friend Cratton believes, as he's a scholar of ancient alchemy, his theory is probably right. Cratton, this old scholar is one of Wayard's foremost authorities on alchemy, um, synergy in ancient cultures. He traveled with the warriors of El, and he um, now conducts his research with two young apprentices. Again. Okay, consider us armed with information. Now let's get in there and help Tyrell. Of course, Garrus, all this theory isn't helping matters. Let's get in there and save him. Oh my god, stop talking! One of these corrupted plants with the tanglewood is growing next to the vortex. It's awfully close to Tyrell. Hurry in there and save him with your synergy. And remember, Matthew, if you need to throw a fireball, keep where Mars Jenny set. Now I don't stand by. Now let's go. But I thought we can't send our synergy that way, otherwise it'll just feed the vortex. Not, not close enough. I was hoping to, I was trying to see if they're gonna let me cheese it. Hmm. Gotta find a way over there. Did I miss something? Oh! I forgot about the lack of needing to be right up on something. We just talked about that. I forgot about it that quick. It's dope. Torch! Burn it! Do I have to summon Tiamat? No, I think not. We use ground. We'll waste tender. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. God, this music is so good. We'll summon Meteor! Oh, I got Bolt! Let's go! Oh, he's defending? That's bad! That means Meteor's gonna do less damage. Duh, duh! This looks so cool. I like the constellation summoning the meteor for him.
What makes this even better is the fact that that meteor falls from the upper screen to the bottom screen. Oh, he's just dead. Third earthquake. So we just skipped past Quake, huh? So it shrunk, but it didn't disappear. Tyrell, wake up! Please, Tyrell! Tyrell's been drained of his energy. Adepts need help recovering from such trauma. Yo, why is Ty- I mean, I guess Garrett's hair was that dark, or that bright red when he was younger as well. And I guess as Garrett got older, his hair color started to lose some of that- that spark. Oh, I was having such a nice dream. What? You oaf? Is that the things we get? We were worried about you. Worried? Oh yeah, now I remember. I crashed the sword wing. The wing broke. Only the wing? It's utterly destroyed. We were sick with worry, Tyrell. Hey, I didn't mean to worry you. We're well, glad to see you safe, Tyrell. We should be thankful you made it through all this without serious injury. Or would have um or it would have delayed the start of your trip. My trip? What trip? We have to get the soul ring in working order as soon as possible. We're going to help. Um, you're going to help us fix it. And as much as I want, um, as much as I would like to shelter you, Tyra, you've just gone too far this time. My father put some very rare resources into building that soul ring for Isaac and Garrett. We can make most of the repairs ourselves, but we lack a major material to fix it fully. The rare material comes from the feathers of a very unusual bird. We need the feather from a mountain rock, a mammoth bird that roosts far across the continent. A mountain rock. These gigantic birds are so rarely seen that they're beyond legendary. A single feather can provide enough material to help craft a soar wing. Way off at the far side of the country of Morgal, in fact. This country occupies the northeastern part of um, Angara, with the capital city of Bl um, Bel... Was it Belinsk? Belinsk, or something like that, at the center. Morgal is home to many um, wonders, or many wonders, from the tree village of Kalama to the ancient dock facilities of Port Rago. The trip will be difficult, but first we need to get you rested up at the cabin, right? I don't even walk out. Ba, 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 ba. I guess we can't fight with Tyrell. Get me out of this cave. Okay, secure the sword wing. Now let's get back to the cabin. I like how he's like, cool, you guys do that. I'll be, uh, over here. We well, can get your butt over there, help. What? You're sending Matthew and Tyra Elf on their own? I'm shocked, Karis. It's not like you to get so riled up. Look, I want to see my father's sword ring fixed just as much as you do. But you'll need a mountain rock feather for that. I've heard you say how hard it was getting the last one. True enough. We had to travel through the swollen rounds of Bilibin, through the border town, then to Morgal, um, and beyond. Once a small town, Bilibin has grown since the time of the Golden Sun, to the point that it's now a country. While supposedly governed by the McCoy men, 
It's rumored that the wife actually is ruling the land. McCoy, 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 McCoy. Oh. He's the, uh, the pompous guy that wanted us to, uh, save his town for free. Um, and he was chopping down, uh, Tret and whatnot to build his wife, uh, a second castle beside the main castle? I don't know. That was weird. Like, why does your wife need her own castle or building beside the main building when she could just literally stay in the same building as you, in the same room as you? Then she had the nerve to be mad that we stopped uh, construction so that, you know, you wouldn't be cursed and turned into a dang tree. This town is the major crossing point between Morgal and B um, Bilibin. It was no walk in the park getting rock feather. It never is. Um, it never is. But we need that sorry fixed. Since Garrett and I have to stay here and monitor Mount Elf, it leaves only the boys to fetch that feather for us. You know how hard we're working with your father to study after effects of the Golden Sun. How could I not? We have the busiest parents in Angara. Then, you also know that um, how vital the Soul Ring is to our efforts. Without it, we can't get near Mount Elf. I can't believe that my own son will risk the Soul, um, Soul Ring. It's about time he got straightened out. And yet, still hasn't done anything. He still has not reprimanded his son. Can someone explain to me why this guy has not been reprimanded? And a tough quest for the feather is just the thing to do it. But Tyrell can't do it alone, so I'm sending Matthew with him. They're practically brothers. Sorry you got dragged into all this, Matthew. Are you looking forward to setting up with Tyrell? Not really. If I said no, you'd be mad, though. I definitely would have at least gotten smacked once or twice for that. Me, I would have gotten punched. Not smacked. I would have gotten punched. <laughs> Multiple times. One for disobeying an order that was given to me by my parents. An umpteenth amount of times, two for breaking something that didn't belong to me. You never forget your first quest, but don't forget to keep an eye, an eye on Terrell. I, uh, I have to because if I don't, he'll do something stupid and mess up for everything, for everybody. Get, we shouldn't delay them any further. The boys need to leave immediately. What? What? Just like that? So soon? Our first quest began just as suddenly, Karis. 30 years ago, we were catapulted into an action, um, into action when we met Kratton. The study of alchemy changed our lives. Good old Kratton. He didn't know, hey, didn't our friend the alchemist say he would pay us a visit soon? Hmm, so he did. Uh, Isaac? Oh boy, I know that look, you're hatching a plan. Now that we're on the subject of Kratton, how was it, Isaac? He's got that far off look on his face. That means he's having a good idea. Usually, anyway. Kratton might be willing to help the boys out with this. Yeah, I think the boys would benefit from Kratton's help. Tell me who, uh, tell me who Kratton is again? I sort of remember this ancient crusty guy visiting the cabin once. I mean... Uh, it's rude. I, it's true, but it's rude. You didn't have to say it like that, ancient, crusty guy. Sure, he's old as the hills, but I have some respect for Cretton. Oh, now I see why he was rude to him. He was that old scholar who helped our dads all those years ago. Yes, Cretton helped us when we were young warriors, so I bet he'd even enjoy helping out our children. You're sure he's up to the task? Why wouldn't he be? I mean, Crayon is getting on in years, Isaac. It's been three decades since he helped us. Sure, it's been 30 years since that quest ended, but we've hardly aged. Crayon's the same. It's the same with my father. He says he looks a smidge older than back then, but not much. Ivan believes that those of us directly exposed to the power of the Golden Sun have aged very little. How weird to know I'll, um, I'll grow older while you adults stay the same. It's like getting left behind. Hmm. You know what? I want. I went in on this quest. I'm going with Matthew and Tyrell. 
Don't be ridiculous, Karis. You don't know the first thing about adventure. Garrett, stop. She's a win adept, and her powers will help. It's settled. The three of you will leave immediately. Vesip, Isaac, you had this plan all along, didn't you? We mustn't waste another minute. I'll contact Kratton while you kids pack. Seriously, we're really leaving this soon? Talk about pushing us out of the nest. But we but we know nothing about going so far away. Where did you um where did you say that feather was? Somewhere in Morgal? This isn't a holiday, it's a quest into the unknown. So the sooner you begin, the sooner you'll find your way. Making him leave at sundown is kinda dumb. I mean it is the dark dawn. Wait, dawn's morning time though, right? Yeah, dawn is like morning time, right? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, chat! I knew it! Look, I may be a smidge tired, okay? A smidge sleepy. My fault, of course. I was up late last night um, playing Pokemon and then watching anime and playing old school RuneScape on my tablet while laying in the bed. It's funny because you're so on the ball 99% of the time and then you said that. I fixed myself immediately. That should count for something, right? Uh, what you, what? You mean you're sending us off to meet your friend Crad and giving us no more details? Crad is a genius when it comes to charting a course into the unknown. You'll be in excellent hands. I think I should uh, arrange to have you beat up at Carver's camp. That's not so far away. This lumberjack camp stands at one end of the valley that leads through the Goma Mountains to Bilibid and the rest of the continent beyond. I'll send the carrier pigeon that arrived earlier to inform him. Why not just wait for him here? Didn't that carrier pigeon bring word he was coming this way? You can't just send us on our way like this. You... I mean, it's getting dark outside. He's made up his mind. That's time for, um... Uh, he made up his mind that it's time for you to grow into warriors. He needs your help. Besides, Isaac is consumed by concern about what's going on out there. We need that sword ring fixed. If you ask me, it sounds like Isaac needs to fly that sword ring to Soul Sanctum in Mount Al. The mountain has been erupting for a long time, so there's only one way. Um, there. By air. You can't get the Soul Sanctum until the sword ring is fixed. I think he needs to return to where their quest began. I hang out in streams to kill the time, and some people solve puzzles more quickly than others, and some people just are just way slow. I am give or take. I can be really quick, or sometimes I can be extremely slow. I, I think it just depends on the puzzle. Well, I guess we won't be seeing this place for a while. This will be our your first trip away from here. Take a long look. You're never um you'll never know when you'll be back home. Like it's fun to watch people figure things out, but there's a limit. Understandable. When I left Bell, I was just 17. My life was never the same. Think you're okay. So they're 37 years old. Garrett just confirmed it. They're 37 years old. Because I, I remember Garrett and uh, Isaac were the same age and Jenna was one year younger, I believe. Oh, you're right. 47. My bad. 47. 47. Three decades. I was thinking two. I was thinking two decades. Three decades. 47. You're right. I'm going to sleep, okay? I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, alright? I'm not judging, like I said, I can't do basic math while teaching. It, so, it, even though they said three decades, I literally had it locked into my brain that it was only a couple of decades. I'm with Matthew. We're totally ready for an adventure. Well, I know I'm ready to start this quest, too. So, how about we get going? Coming, so now Karis is all gung-ho about the adventure, but before she was like, It's too dark, it's too late!
It's like we were fated to go on this, um, um, on this quest, so I think we'll be off soon. It's good to start a journey. Looking forward to the adventure ahead. Now go get ready. Okay, Dad, we're leaving. All right, Tyrell. Isaac didn't show up to see us off. We're starting our first adventure. This shouldn't be a time for sadness. Anyway, he's not here, and it doesn't look like he's coming, so let's just drop it. Okay, now head for Carver's camp. Remember, you'll be meeting at the bridge. I have to be really involved in my current class, so I'm tired um, by 11. But I don't have to work after that. I'm usually tired about 11 myself as well. And Tyro, don't do anything reckless out there. You're in charge, Matthew. That means you have to take care of these two. That's what I like to see. Calm and in charge. We'll be back with our rock, rock feather before you know it. You know what's hilarious? We never made it back with that feather. <laughs> it's an entry level class, so it's like so it's a lot of listen and repeat. Gotcha. Dad, Lee, hey, come on now, little man. Don't be blubbering. Oh, well, no second thoughts now. Off you go, son. You'll be all grown up when you come back. I bet we won't even recognize you. Now head to Patch's place to dig up more information about your journey. This Emporium serves is just up, um, serves up just about everything refugees from Vale might need to survive. Small settlement is huddled around the store. Patch's place is full of follow, uh, fellow refugees from Vale. They'll be good to you. Just keep Tyrell out of Patch's sight. That guy still has an info on your son. Oh, well, if your son stops destroying things, we won't have to worry about it. The Bell Rev this Rail Refugee has built a large emporium and inn for fellow survivors of the Golden Sun. Though not exactly a mayor, Patrick is the closest thing to a leader this outpost has. Alright, let's save, because we haven't saved yet. Alright, carry this letter to credit, little friend. Good luck to you. And so the journey begins.